of a mixed bag when they come to the Premier League. He's made a good start though, hasn't he, Boney? He did, I mean, he had a little injury or two at the start and wasn't quite getting into Michael Laudrup's start in 11, but he's starting to score. Rio Ferdinand back in and starting again for the first time since the European Champions League match against Shakhtar Donetsk in early. There is uh, Wilfred Boney. Shinji Kagawa. Pretty swift and threatening when they managed to come forward themselves. The position, but even the best of them just have one or two doubts in their mind when the ball stops going in. That's through towards Real Madrid. Really good chance, and he finds the net. Fantastic start to deflection, but look at this. One ball right the way through the middle of the Manchester United midfield. Yes, Rio gets a little flick. Probably doesn't help, but I tell you what, that is some finish by Routledge. The ball's bobbling nicely, just Onzi coming here with three men in midfield, Manchester United just with the two, and cleverly and Fletcher, and that was one ball. Controlled by Bonnie. Right back might do him a lot of good, getting on the ball, you know, you need to be good with your feet and in the right back area and that's what he needs to improve if he's going to be a top centre half especially at a club like Manchester United you need to be good with your feet Only with the shot a Plymouth have equalised me James and Alan Curtis who's uh, one of the coaches under Michael Loudrup scored the goals for Swansea that day lots of well Tom Cleverley he was protesting divides opinion doesn't he Danny Welbeck he has done for a while now. Who have been on the periphery of things, have got the chance to impress, and seems to be a good appetite in a way, just as they were starting to mount another challenge. Two cup competitions for United this season. Here's Bodhi. He touched to Pozuelo, and he's on the move again, the Ivory Coast International. Good defending by Butner. The frustration in Chicharita. That was an opportunity, that was. He at the Manchester United starting lineup today. He's been frustrated by the fact that he's not been given a chance by David Moyes in recent games. With his marker on his way across the penalty area. Yeah, it was a good ball as well by him on the opening day. Swansea had more possession that day, but Manchester United found four goals. Bowley with the clearance. Fletcher looking for Hernandez, who then lifted his arm towards the ball. Mike Dean just might have a quiet yeah. word with Javier yeah. Hernandez. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, it did come off his head, did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. There'll be one minute of additional time at the end of this first half, which saw Swansea take the lead with a really good finish from Wayne second half. Boney allowed to turn. Shell. Boney to Pozuelo. Good football this from the Welsh side. Right start for them in the second half, Pozuelo. Oh, he just cleverly. Valencia beats Boney to it. There's a chance for Jonathan de Guzman to come forward. In towards Boney. He wants to reach it. Challenged by Butler, but he's big and strong, Wilfred Boney. Boney with lots of time and room to turn. Now Shelby. Took a bit of clearing as far as Swansea were concerned. Certainly a mismatch into Boney to De Guzman. Yeah. It's a real prospect, didn't he, Neil Taylor, before he suffered that horrific ankle injury against Sunderland last season, which sidelined him for seven months or so, but Giving the chance at left back today. Started to be get a little bit feisty in central midfield now. Tackle is starting to go in. Boney comes into his like this, don't we? Where he's just on the edge of things, not really able to stamp his authority on the game. Boney will try and do that for Swansea. Hits it, Boney. Always away from the left hand post of Anders Lindegaard. They start making a, his presence felt, hasn't he, in the second half? Will for Boney. So much strength. David Moyes. Oh, Trafford hasn't been a fortress this season. They've lost four matches here already. Yanazai with it. 
in towards Rio Ferdinand, away by Swansea defenders, and they've dealt with that situation really well. The first task at hand, but Swansea at the moment comfortable with what the home side are throwing at them. There's Pozuelo, now Boney. There's Boney. Worked really hard for the cause, Boney, today. Not had too much in the way of goal scoring opportunity saves of significance. They defended really well, led of course by Chico Flores. Now Boney's on side, and they've got some ground to make up here defensively. Which... Swansea are going to be making an attacking change. They're going to bring on up. Boney waits in the middle. The Guzman in there as well. Routledge just done well. Boney the target. It's going to fall here maybe for the Guzman. That for pace. It's a cracking ball as well, and Kaga were into the centre and brought Danny well back, back into the left-hand midfield position. So it's there for Swansea to win it. Wilfred Boney, heavy towards T and Dali. Here's Jose Canyas. Now Boney. Boney in the middle. Vasquez in there too. Rowlett thinks he's got the beating of Fletcher in towards Boney! That may well be the winning goal for Swansea, scored by Wilfred Boney! Well, you can smell him. He's floated in an absolutely beautiful ball. And Boney, well, he's come to himself in the second half. Strength, power. And now when he gets a chance, he buries it past Lindergaard. And have Manchester United got time to get back into this match? Wilfred Boney's 13th goal of the season. Lucky for him, unlucky for Manchester United. David Moyes and his side on the verge of elimination. Here's Poswayla. Boney can really see it here. Here's Wilfred Boney! Oh, like a rocket. Say, Darren Swansea fully deserved this lead. The away fans, after that man's winning goal, congratulations to Swansea. Not sure about the dancing though. So, Fabio sent off, Ferdinand hobbled off, and a fast emptying Old Trafford. Rung with booze, didn't it? The home fans continue to be turned off at the moment. United's fifth home defeat of the season sees them out of the F.